So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my top five beauty products for 2017. And I just want to start off by saying I did not use a lot of makeup this year at all. I was super busy working, my son, everything. But these were my go-to products that like I couldn't do without. They just helped refresh me. They were there for me 24 7 when i needed or to look awake or anything so these were my top five i seriously probably used every day and couldn't be without and helping me so much during this year so i hope you guys enjoy this i'm gonna throw a few random things in at the end but these are my top five beauty products for 2017 i hope you guys enjoy give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video okay guys so let's just jump right into it my first product for 2017 and this has probably been in my monthly favorites several times, but it's always going to be. I just love this mascara. It is $5.95 or $5.94. I get it at Walmart all the time. But this can literally, you can use it to just put on a little bit of mascara. Or if you want to look like you have fake eyelashes, if you do a couple of layers, you can get it volumized up and I don't have very thick lashes so this does it for me I absolutely love it it's L'Oreal voluminous black it's L'Oreal voluminous carbon black mascara the second product that I use throughout the year and whenever I was like on the go or go to need to do something really quickly and just be awake it was this concealer. I think if you just throw on mascara, concealer, and a little bit of blush, you can just look like you're refreshed and awake. So I've been using this LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in Natural. And it is, it's very natural. It doesn't illuminate underneath the eyes. It basically just conceals up your dark circles or anything and makes you look refreshed. And of course, I always do set it with powder, but for me, I use any setting powder I don't really have one go-to but this has been my go-to seriously I use it all the time and sometimes when I do do like more makeup I will apply this and then I will just apply a lighter concealer over top just because this works so good for concealing those dark circles underneath and looking so refreshed so if you guys can they have several colors I know I have a, a natural beige um, medium beige they just have so many options out there so if you want to try a good concealer and you need um, help finding a concealer that will conceal up your under eye circles definitely try this it's very affordable as well okay so third thing that i want to talk about today is the real techniques brushes i use all their brushes oh sorry i just washed my brushes so they're all in my bathroom but i use their blush brushes i use their crease brushes this one was definitely a go-to i use it all the time um i use it to basically set my face and set underneath my eyes it's just the perfect perfect shape it gets in to those little areas that you need to conceal and for me this helps with my creasing um so i've always used this brush and i also like like i said i use it to conceal because i don't like to apply a lot of powder over my foundation when i do set anything so i'll use this and i just set areas that i know will like crease up so the consistency the quality and everything about this brush is very very good um also too if you want it to highlight this is a perfect brush for doing that it is the setting brush um but yeah i got mine at ulta so if you can pick this up blush this is definitely my go-to blush it's damselfly by becca it has lasted forever i'm almost hitting pan on it but it's just the perfect shade it has like hints of pink but it's just so refreshing it's just a beautiful shade i wish you guys could see i don't have it on today because i didn't want to wear it but it has a light shimmer and it's not too out there I like wearing kind of like bronzier orange shades for blush I just it just goes better with my skin tone so I had to talk about this because this was my number one blush and I used it every day for work it's very very appropriate for work and it's not too intense or anything so perfect blush and quality is great as well last thing I want to talk about which I've been using throughout Probably the last six months, definitely more so. Um, I was trying not to buy any more makeup. Um, I have so much makeup back here. 
I wanted to put to use all my old basically palettes and stop wasting money so I know this doesn't look that nice but the shades are really really great it has a nice row of matte shades that I absolutely love and are so very blendable and it has your shimmers down here I've been using this all the time if I want to do something quick or I need something to go to I definitely use that I used it on my eyes today I just think it's very compatible and very what's the word all around rounded so if you want to do an intense look if you want to do something very very light it just has all those perfect shades for it if you want to do something different like the green I wanted to do something a little bit different today so I used the green shade but like I said I absolutely love it and it's been my go-to Lorac always has great eyeshadows and their consistency are very nice soft and blendable so definitely had to share this I know there's so many new palettes out there but if you have a lot of makeup and you want to make use of it and just stop wasting money, just try using like your old makeup because I know now a lot of um, companies are just throwing stuff out there just to sell and they know people are buying it. They know it's on Instagram so they're just trying to sell their stuff but just try to make do of what you have because basically to me what they're doing is relaunching a lot of stuff that you probably already have in your makeup so just put it to use. That was basically all I wanted to say for the makeup portion of this video. Now, another thing that I wanted to mention were my fitness things because I've been into fitness a lot more this year. Um, so one thing I used consistently every day for basically the past year is my Fitbit. It just tells me when I'm active. So some days if I only have a tiny bit of steps I will definitely be like all right I need to like step it up or anything I use it at the gym um, of course I use it for at work because I always need to be telling time and it's just a part of my job with time so yes Fitbit is um, one of my fit products of the year number two is just workout pants in general I sweat through my stuff so much and I know there's tons of workout pants out there but black workout pants are probably going to be your best bet so yep if you can find a good deal definitely make use of that i got these at victoria's secret on clearance for 17 dollars so just black workout pants workout pants in general because i've been hitting the gym, um, gym a lot more than usual um, but yeah, I hope you guys had a great 2017 and I'm so ready for this new year. I don't have any new goals, but I just want to stay consistent with the goals that I've set over the past year and just, like I said, be consistent, keep on it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.